Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We've got Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks, Jar Jar Binks. Number one from the Phantom Menace. This is the first Phantom Menace figure we've got in the new line. And uh, he's looking absolutely fantastic. I've uh, really been looking forward to this one. I'm not sure whether the extra bits uh, really justify it as a deluxe figure, but it is what it is. Um, they're talking about re-releasing this guy on one of the uh, 40, uh, 20th anniversary style uh, Phantom Menace cards that were Celebration exclusives uh, back in Chicago 2019. So that one I'll be buying too because, uh, yeah, I've, I've got the Mole and the Obi-Wan. And they're talking about bringing out Jar Jar, uh, Qui-Gon and Mace Windu. So we will see. I hope they give Mace Windu the blue lightsaber, which I believe is still canonically, canonically relevant. So yeah, Jar Jar looks awesome. And due to the reflective light, let's just open him up and have a look. All right, folks, here he is. The man, the myth, the potential Sith Lord, the legend Jar Jar Binks. What an absolutely amazing action figure. This is fantastic. I'm really, really excited. As a generation of the prequel trilogy, I am a big fan of Jar Jar Binks. Um, just doesn't get enough credit for what he did as a character and both, you know, with Ahmed Best as the actor that portrayed him, and in terms of the revolution of, uh, you know, motion capture, like, I know Andy Serkis and Gollum get a lot of credit, but uh, I think Ahmed Best sort of beat them to the punch, um, and definitely set things up in a way that is, uh, you know, absolutely critical to the industry these days, so... But this is an absolutely amazing figure. I love what they've done here. The paintwork is fantastic. Um, the accessories are cool. I don't know whether it's justified as a deluxe version because he does come with this shield. So I will go through the accessories. Get him to stand up. There we go. So he does come with his uh, battle shield. There is sort of a, it's hard to tell, but there is sort of a bit of a purpley tinge to the uh, to the clear acrylic there, which is kind of nice. It's hard to tell like this, but if you've got a bit of a, a bit less direct light, um, yeah, you can definitely make it out. It looks good, holds it well, it's light. It's not gonna weigh down the figure and bend their arm if you've got them holding it out. Uh, definitely potential for the future for some Gungan, Gungan warriors, Gungans, however you wanna say it, Gungans, uh, warriors or Captain Tarpools, you know. Definitely another accessory you could use later on. Does come with the uh, yeah, Gungan spear here, which is nice. That's because it comes in two parts, just the way because it is quite long. So they did pack it in there so you can connect the peg. So it's pretty nice. It's just sort of a pretty standard plastic y look. Obviously, it's just the molded plastic, the only paint being on the brown brown handles here, um, but it's not too bad. It's fine, it works. And now we have his little little boomer chucker. Just nice little ornate sort of handle. Unfortunately, the uh, little blue ball doesn't come out, but that's okay. But it's nice that that is uh, translucent. That's kind of cool. So I guess is the whole, the whole thing is that sort of blue plastic translucent color they've just painted the uh, handle sort of real nice sort of dark dark gray color but that's really nice I like the sort of ornate patterns on it, it looks cool now let's have a look at the uh, let's have a look at himself let's look at his face let's get right up close I know not a lot of people like this but uh look at his eyes they are absolutely amazing that's what you get with uh, photo real paint apps. They can just really get in there nice and close and get these really cool, really cool details. Really nicely sculpted. It's gonna tilt up a little bit. There we go. Really nicely sculpted. The ears are a separate piece. They're sort of, they're attached, glued on afterwards. So it allows them to be molded in a slightly more malleable plastic uh, as opposed to the sort of the, the sort of harder plastic of the rest of the figure. Uh, I know the neck is sort of a soft plastic as well. 
Uh, the one thing that probably does bug me a little bit is the way when you have his head up, the sort of you sort of get this sort of under detailed uh, sort of ball joint sort of thing going on here, but it's all right. I sort of like to display him with his sort of neck sort of jerked back, but you can get it forward, get some cool movement, so you can have him strutting. But to have his neck sort of arched backwards kind of looks cool. And his ears to sort of just sort of hang off the body as bit. You look at his uh, his sort of skin flesh tones there on his arm. That's uh, fantastic. On his ears, back of his head. It's a little bit little bit messy there, but it's all right. You don't see that. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. Nice to get a blend that a little bit more with the uh, under the collar there, under the yeah, just at the chest, top of the chest. Not quite colour match there, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, I like the f sort of fabric vest. That's sort of it's not fabric, but it's a light plastic that's you know separate. That's cool, as well as the uh, the sort of outer sort of waistcoat sort of thing, I suppose. Yeah, the sculpting of the legs is great. I like the sort of stitches in the bottom of his pants there. It's brilliant, and his feet, which are which are really funny. They look great. They're fantastically done. Really nice. I like his hands, just the way they've been able to get that sort of matching paint in the joint there, just to sort of hide it. It looks good. Same on the hands. You know, you sort of notice it when you do that. But yeah, otherwise that's pretty well done. Swap out, swap out different head, like have him having a bit more of a silly face. That would have been cool as well. But uh, this is all right. A bit of a bit of a jar jar grin would have been cool. I would have liked to have displayed him with his big goofy grin. Yeah, really nice details throughout this whole figure. Absolutely brilliant. I'm a big fan. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Unless you're going to be mean about Jar Jar, then just click away. <laughs> but please give me a thumbs up on the way out if you like this video. Um, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. As always, till my next video, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.